wrestlers who started off as security guards in WWE. Before Braun Breaker was spearing everyone in sight, he debuted as a security guard during a 2021 NXT segment between Adam Cole and Kyle O'Reilly. Eagle-eyed viewers will also notice in the segment are the Creed brothers who have become main roster mainstays in recent months. In 2006, during a raw taping in the UK, WWE would utilize Sheamus and Wade Barrett as security members during a segment with DX. The crazy thing about Sheamus' appearance is that it would take a pedigree from Triple H and just four years later, the two would collide on the grand stage of WrestleMania. Also in 2006, WWE used the future Cesaro as a police officer backstage. Interestingly, this was also a segment featuring DX. It wasn't just Cesaro who was portraying the role of a police officer, as EC3 was also present for the segment. But on the road to WrestleMania 17, the feud between The Undertaker and Triple H was so intense that WWE needed police officers at ringside. Two names who played these police officers were Bobby Roode and Mr. Kennedy. When it comes to Roode, he would become a big part of the company over a decade later and would even work closely with Triple H as an official agent for the company. Before Daniel Bryan became one of the most popular babyfaces in WWE history, he underwent a small role on WWE TV as a security guard. Bryan's debut in this role came during the Ruthless Aggression era, where he was trying to stop Bryan Kendrick from running around the arena naked. Whilst the 2011 feud between CM Punk and Kevin Nash was known for all the wrong reasons, it did feature the first on-screen appearance of LA Knight. LA would debut as a security guard during a promo exchange between Punk and Nash. On the road to WrestleMania 25, Keith Lee was hired to be a security guard for a segment between the McMahon family and Legacy. Lee would even be booked to embark in some physicality with his future boss, Triple H. In 2005, MVP would make his official WWE debut as a police officer protecting Kurt Angle's gold medals. This would come just a year before MVP would debut on SmackDown with the MVP persona everyone knows and loves. The two years before WWE would push Alberto Del Rio as a new main event level talent, Del Rio would be booked as an extra on Raw in the summer of 2008. Del Rio will portray the role of JBL's security guard, which was a nice twist of fate, as Del Rio's heel character would constantly be compared to JBL years down the line. But almost a decade before Damien Priest was send your money in the bank, Priest would appear in a backstage segment in 2014. Priest would be a security guard during the segment between Stephanie McMahon and the Bella Twins. At the time of Priest's debut as a security guard, he was still trying to get his foot in the door, and the year following his WWE appearance, Priest would sign for Ring of Honor, where he would become a major player for the company. A former NXT champion, Johnny Gargano, appeared as a security guard back in 2010 on WWE TV. Gargano would act as security for Michael Cole during Cole's infamous run as a heel announcer. And whilst not a WWE contracted talent, perhaps the most famous and well-known instance of a wrestler portraying a security guard before they became famous took place in 2016. As Samoa Joe was making his way down to the ring from the backstage area NXT TakeOver Brooklyn 2, one of the security guards would just so happen to be AEW star MJF. Joe would even push MJF and this physicality would even be referenced during a program between the two talented stars several years later when the two were feuding over the AEW world title. But there you have it folks, wrestlers who started off as security guards in WWE. Be sure to leave your comments down below and I'll see you next time with some more wrestling content.